Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be taking apart my Traxxas TQI remote controller. The issue that I am having, and I am fairly certain that many of you out there are having, is signal loss. So at about 30 to 40 feet, my RC experiences pretty much shut down. There's absolutely no signal, no throttle, and no steering. So I have a really good idea of what it might be, and I suspect that the antenna lead on top here is probably broken or disconnected somewhere within the receiver. A good indicator of that is, look at that, mine has a zip tie attached to it and I could easily just pull out the antenna lead. So I purchased a Traxxas Stampede 4x4 this way. It seems to be working, but when I hit 30 to 40 feet, you know, I have complete signal loss. Okay, so let's take it apart. There are only five screws. They're all Phillips head hardware. You have two screws here on the sides and three here on top. So I'm gonna take them out and then we'll open up the remote itself. When doing this, also make sure to remove the batteries. And there is a sticker here in the front. The sticker holds both of these pieces together. You have a molded piece of plastic, so I'll just take the sticker off a little bit. We don't have to fully open it, but you could see that it is molded right here, and this is where the seam is that the remote itself is going to come apart. Okay, so now it should just basically come apart. Let's see, there we go. I have the two parts almost out. Gently take it out. Very simple. There's no hardware here on this other side, so there's nothing to worry about. Okay, let's take a look inside the remote itself. And right here, I already see a dangling little lead right here. You see that, guys? It's like this gold little piece right here. It looks like it is the wire from the antenna itself. So if I trace it down, it is the actual wire. Here it is. So yeah, it looks like it is disconnected. Let's take a look inside this board right here. So it looks like this is the signal receiver board right here. And from the looks of it, I could see another little gold connection right here where it looks like it is supposed to be uh, attached. Okay, so let me just pull out the antenna wire itself. Here it is. It's this tiny little kind of clasp looking thing right here. And from what I understand, it doesn't look like there's any solder on this joint. But it looks like I could just simply probably attach it here and it should be fine. Let me pull out this board a little bit. So this just slides out. That was just the on off button that fell out. It just simply goes back in place. Nothing to worry about. So let's slide it out a little bit. So we have a little bit more room to work with. Okay, here we go. All I'm going to do is just basically try to attach it back and hopefully it'll work and it'll stay in place. Okay, it looks like it is attached. You could tell that the clasp is being held in place fairly well. I am not going to solder this time. I'm gonna run this RC for a little while. So hopefully it should be okay. All right, now we can just put back all of our hardware, assemble the remote, and we should be good to go. Now that I have the antenna wire connected, let's put back our remote control here and close it up. It's a little uh, harder putting it back together. You gotta to make sure nothing kind of interferes and make sure the antenna on top is nice and flush mounted as I have it right here. And there it is guys, just put all the screws back together and try not to pull this antenna out. So 
it seems that whenever there's a lot of stress applied on the actual antenna cord itself that you know clearly it will become disconnected from the receiver board here on the bottom so there it is guys thanks so much for watching if you have any questions please put it down in the comments below till next time thanks